toxic green algae. And I'm still not dead. Welcome back to Oregon. Starting off the day today in the Three Sisters Wilderness of Willamette National Forest. Headed out to something called Proxy Falls. Don't know a ton about it other than there's a couple different trails. One to get to the lower falls, one to get to the upper falls. We're gonna pass through some big forest and some some old lava beds. And uh, because it's a wilderness area, we're gonna keep our eye out for some wildlife as well. I actually saw a ton of butterflies when we parked at the trailhead and I just tripped over a stump. So don't vlog and walk down a trail in the wilderness, guys. Okay, do as I say, not as I do. But because it's a wilderness area, there's certain restrictions in place. You know, pack out your garbage, all the usual stuff. This whole part of the trail is just one big, seems like one big lava bed, old lava flow. Come across a couple pieces of jewelry. That's the second piece of jewelry we've seen just randomly placed on some moss or a boulder out here. So I don't know, people are leaving gifts to the fairy, forest fairies or wood nymphs or what's going on. But if anybody knows what's up with the, the jewelry, the random jewelry seemingly placed, it doesn't look like it was dropped, just seemingly placed and left there. I mean, there's no signs of like sacrificial animal blood next to the jewelry or anything like that. So I don't think anything weird like that is going on guys. But if you know if there's some kind of tradition or something up here, maybe it's just an Oregon thing. Maybe if people are, I don't know, forgetful and they drop their jewelry in the forest. I don't know. I don't know all your wacky traditions, Oregon. Okay, educate me. Proxy Falls, technically speaking, lower Proxy Falls. Wow, absolutely stunning. What a great way to start the week off here in Oregon. getting a little warm on that exposed hike in on the, the lava field there. And uh, those, those lava rocks were radiating a lot of heat. It's in the mid 90s today, but it's like at least 20 degrees cooler underneath this beautiful waterfall. And it doesn't really matter how hot it gets. It's always nice and cool under a refreshing waterfall. Even if you have to dunk your head in there. Now we're going to check out Upper Proxy Falls. Can it rival the beauty of Lower Proxy Falls? We're gonna know very shortly, because I hear it in the distance. We are 45 minutes away from Proxy Falls and we got a hot tip from a guy at the gas station that there could be some natural water slides up off of the Blue River here. Blue River feeds into the uh, this Blue River Lake. He said park at the bridge and go upstream and there's several slides. So is he just pulling our leg? I don't know. We're going to find out. I might have been messing with us because there's lots of rocks and boulders but haven't yet seen any slabs I normally see some slabs when you're looking for slides a lot of big boulders for sure hmm This 
topography to me just doesn't it doesn't say natural water slide to me. There's no big granite slabs. There's no volcanic slabs. I don't know, maybe he was telling the truth. Maybe it's a lot further up the creek, but looks like for a while it's, I would call this like a babbling brook or something. We also read something at a campground that we passed about toxic green algae could possibly be found in this water and so, uh, there, I have seen some green algae. Apparently it's impossible to detect whether it's the toxic kind or not, unless you put it under a microscope. So, that also is kind of dissuading me a little bit from, from jumping in this water, or to continue to look for these slides, because I guess the algae secretes some kind of toxin, like one algae is good, another kind secretes this toxin and there's no way to tell. Even if you treat the water and boil it, it does not remove the toxin. So you don't want to risk drinking this water either. So, hmm, I don't know. I don't think I'll be partaking. Well, it looks like we hit the mother load of ripe berries here. And she was just saying she'd rather have berries for dinner than toxic green algae. So this type of berry, is known as a compound berry. Because it kind of looks like a bunch of other little berries stuck together or compounded together. And to my knowledge, all compound berries are edible. I've not come across one that is inedible, but I'm pretty sure, 99.9% .9 sure, all compound berries are edible for humans. However, don't ever eat anything unless you're 100% sure it's edible. I know these are edible because I've been eating them the whole trip and I'm still not dead. And, still better than toxic green algae. Infamous.